What's up, y'all? J.R. Raymond back again, coming to you from home, uh, just because I'm doing some work at home before we head out to the shop. But I'm going to talk to you today about some of my most favorite bowling balls of 2022. I've got some my favorite solids, my favorite hybrid, and my favorite pearls. And we're going to talk about all of that here in a minute. Stay tuned. So comment below, make sure to hit that like button real quick. Go ahead, hit that pound that like button real quick. And then comment what your favorite solid, pearl, and hybrid bowl and balls are uh, that are in your bag right now. And uh, let me know in the comments below. It's my favorite coffee cup, by the way. If, if you can't read that, because it's probably backwards. But it's say, uh, I'd agree with you. But then we both be wrong. <laughs> probably true. <coughs> Man. All right. So, we're going to jump right into this, and I'm going to tell you right off the bat, the easiest one to do is the solid bowling balls. 2022, doesn't matter if it's symmetrical or asymmetric, my favorite solid bowling ball of 2022 has got to be the Roto Grip Gem. This thing, and again, you guys remember, I'm unbiased. I'm not on staff with anybody. I go strictly based off my eye, what my body likes, what my hand likes, like what I like to see in ball motion, and that gem for me was great um and it was it, so versatile for me all right now hybrids are a little bit tougher because there's some hybrids that are react an awful lot like solids like the nova was for me but my favorite hybrid is gonna have to go to drum roll please i think i'm gonna go with the defender hybrid by brunswick this thing had Probably one of the cleanest covers I've come across. Whatever they did with that new technology in that bowling ball was phenomenal. Uh, and they did it with a couple of new ones too. I saw it in the, the 3D offset attack. I haven't done that review yet. That's coming. You'll see that soon. And then that Bigfoot hybrid. You just saw that posted today. But I got to be honest, that cover, there's something different about those covers that are very Storm-esque. And I know I always compare to Storm because Storm has always had the best pearl or shiny covers out of anybody in the market storm bowler balls for some reason have a uh something in them that makes them get through the front but then still read down lane and they don't give you over under so at least not all of them some do you know because that's just how it's going to be bowling balls do that so all right and for the final pick of 2022 and this one might win next year too i don't know we'll see but Man, it just came out, but my favorite pearl right now in my bag. This is a tough one because I've got a couple. Like, I had my Zen was really good. I love that ball. My Dark Code, I loved. Um, I mean, for when it comes to pearls, like I said before, it's tough to compare with Storm. Storm, for me, has just been really, really good as far as their pearls go. Storm companies, I should say. But I, and, and that goes to show why the gem, the exotic gem, is my favorite pearl. Uh, my favorite strong pearl. If I had to pick a weaker pearl, and I know it's not really that much weaker, but that dark code would be next. Um, both ASIM pearls, but my goodness, those things, they are my one, like, between my Zen, my dark code, and that exotic gem now. The exotic gem basically replaced my altered reality. Because for a while, I had the altered reality and the dark code and the gem, or in the Zen, and they were all, every time I could move left, those three balls were... The, the the cat's meow for me so now i've got that exotic gem to replace the altered reality the altered reality is for me was a little bit slower than the than the, the exotic gem so that's where i would go as far as pearls honorable mention for the solids i would say you know i'd go verge solid i think that one solid bowling ball it's been really really good uh it's cleaner for a solid bowling ball it's not the typical really strong solid cover that you would see out of most strong you know most solid cover stocks so yeah i would definitely go verge solid for the honorable mention in the solid category now as far as the hybrids go for an honorable mention um there's a few i could have picked from but i'm going to give the nod to motive and say that that mythic jackal was pretty well down lane for me it's been difficult finding a motive ball that actually picks up down lane but even through some PBA events last year, I was able to use the Mythic Jackal. So that's a uh, that's a notch on their belt. Now my Pearl honorable mention is going to, I know I already mentioned the dark code there. 
I think I think I would probably tie the Dark Code and the Exotic Gem, to be completely fair, even though the Dark Code's older. I know I said in 2022, but I'm just going my favorites that I've been able to use and or that are still in my bag. But for the honorable mention of the pearls, I'm going to have to go with the Swag Ball, that Joker Wild. That thing uh, had a couple of tournament wins for me, and it looked really good. It had a lot of times when I could really slow hook the lane. That thing was really, really good for me. So we're going to go with the uh, the Joker Wild. All right, and there you go. That's my uh, my list of my favorite solid hybrid and pearl bowling balls for 2022. Any of these balls you still got on the market, you definitely are still on the market, so make sure to head over to BowlerX.com and get yours today. But I'm going to get out of here, guys. Let me know in the bottom below. Comment below. Let me know what you think are your favorite. Don't forget, comment, like, subscribe. What are your favorite solid hybrid and pearl bowling balls of this year or that are in your bag right now? So I'm out of here. We'll see you guys later. Take care.